the FLIR TK Scout Thermal Monocular. Let's check it out. Thermal imaging technology has really advanced over the past few years being used by the U.S. military to find the bad guys. I mean, this is an incredible technology. But not only U.S. military, but also police units. And now it's becoming more and more affordable for civilians. Uh, these scopes have run thousands of dollars originally. We're going to look today at the FLIR TK Scout. And this is just a small monocular. It is their base model. It's only $599, and a lot of you guys are going, oh my gosh, $599, but for thermal imaging, uh, this is unbelievable. The price is fantastic, and the features. And so we're going to go through a lot of the different things that this scope is capable of, where it even goes beyond the abilities of night vision. For a number of years, I've seen the huge advantage of thermal imaging. Uh, it's really an incredible technology picking up body heat. Or picking up any heat uh, and that heat translates into being able to see even better than night vision uh, whereas with night vision even military grade night vision you can see it's almost like daylight but there are things that can be hidden that cannot hide from thermal imaging now there are a lot of reasons to have thermal imaging not just necessarily for a security role but also just if your pets outside you can't see you can bring out your thermal imaging uh, you can see where they are even in pitch black darkness with no light another good thing about this is being able to see game if you're out and about if you're a hunter you're able to spot deer you're able to track deer or some kind of game that you've you know to harvest it if it's already been shot and then again just if you're outdoors and you want to just see nightlife uh, you want to see what's going on but what's really cool about thermal imaging is it can be used during the day just like it can be used at night one of the big things about this is that it is a camera and a video camera a still camera and video you can do both and we're going to look at that in just a second but uh, you know there are just so many security reasons to have this uh, and a lot of times cameras are set up with thermal uh, to be able to pick up things that you can't see again with night vision it does have a rubber eyepiece to be able to push onto your eye and for to make it really comfortable because you do bring it up right to your eye. Uh, you have your off on switch here. Uh, next we have an intensity. This actually lowers or brightens the intensity of the light. Uh, and then we have your uh, camera which this also uh, has one button that pushes for a still picture or you can just press and hold and it will start your video. Uh, and then we have the bottom is your color palette selector. Unfortunately, you can't record while you're going into the different modes. Uh, it's very easy to do. It only took me a few minutes. In fact, the instructions are just, there's not a lot of instructions needed because it's pretty much in the, uh, when you start pressing the buttons, you'll see them come up immediately. Uh, the on off, you hit it and then you press it again. It'll bring up a menu and you can set all kind of different things for this site. Press the on off switch once and you go into your mode settings and you can do different things and then your little toggles you can go back and forth. I hope this is showing up pretty clear. I'm having to do this with my camera. But you can go into the different settings. You want to get out of the menu. Just exit. Uh, here we see the intensity. You can brighten or lessen the intensity. I typically go bright, exit, then we go to our color palettes um, and you can scroll through them with the up and down buttons and as you can see you can go through each one. Very easy, again very intuitive, I mean it's just phenomenal. Exit and we're done. And You also have a diopter adjustment right here on the side. 
and uh, it it's just a really simple easy to use piece it goes out to about a hundred yard uh, to detect a human sized target and of course with deer and things like that uh, you can definitely pick it up it does have a cover right here that, that protects the lens but again this can be unlike night vision this can be used during the day or at night here we're going to get through the color palettes this is white hot and uh, you can see that all the hot areas are turning white here we have black hot and again it's all the areas are turning black I really like this color or this scheme now we have the insta alert and this is orange kind of a low grade then we move into the Fire 1, or the Graded Fire 1, which is pretty orange. And then the Graded Fire 2, which gets even brighter, uh, really more of a yellow. The Iron, again, yellow, but a lot of the background, a lot of contrast. And this, there are certain things you can find that this might be better for. Then we have the Lava, I'm getting kind of hot there. <laughs> uh, the Lava turns out a lot of color, but yet the white, the orange shows up. And then here we have the Rain, um, again, still, we're kind of a reddish brown for the hot spots. And then the Color Wheel, which is blue. Your spots are cutting blue. And these are the nine different color palettes. Now to give you some samples, here I am with a rifle, and I'm out at about you know, 75, 80 yards and you can see this field. Now up in the right hand corner is the actual video of this going on. Uh, this will show you as close as I can get. Uh, it's very difficult to see the top but see you can definitely see the thermal image coming up and that's one of the things I really like about this. It's bright, it's solid, you know that you're looking at something that's really not supposed to be there. And here I come up to the camera you can see how I pass it. Now here I'm at a building and you can see in the top right corner that it is super black right there. In fact, I'm shining my light just so I can give you a reference. But I'm walking up behind the building. Uh, it's pitch black and this gives you a general idea of how much advantage you can get by using this thermal imaging. I mean this person, which is me obviously, <laughs> would not be seen with the naked eye except maybe picking it up a little bit. This way you can identify uh, what's going on right here on the screen. Um, and then I'm going to come around this building and I'll shine the light and you can kind of see in the top picture but then again it's very dim and then I come around. Okay, Here I'm in this corner. This is something that I really thought was fascinating. Standing in the corner, the light's off, you cannot see anything. It is pitch black but yet you can pick up the image as I'm standing and walking toward the camera and I mean really it brings out the advantage you can definitely see the advantage right here and then I look like a zombie <laughs> Boo. Okay, here I'm coming up beside a building I got the light on for a reference uh, and then once I turn that light off that you can't see anything I mean it is completely blind uh, it's this is in the lowest insta orange or the insta setting which does not really allow for much orange until I get a little bit closer and then here you see it it brings it in, it's picking up my heat signature. Here down in these woods, I kneel down behind a tree. I'm going to turn the light on so you can just get a reference of where I am. But yet, the only reason you see me is because of the light. And then here, it's just pitch black. Uh, now I'm going to take uh, my just my flashlight in my pocket and bring it out and put it over my head. And that's going to shine. See, there is nothing you can see before that. Uh, just in case you're wondering, the rifle I'm holding is one of the CMMG Mutants, and a great little rifle. Now these can be used during the day, and as you can see in the top right, you can't even see me really that well as I'm moving. You can see me, but then when I get still, even though I'm not in necessarily any kind of camo pattern, uh, I'm pretty invisible if I keep still. Of course, with the thermal imager, the, the image is right there. Uh, and that's what's really focused on and what's showing up. So even during the day, you definitely have a lot of advantages with thermal imaging. Now this is showing about a hundred yards. I'm walking uh, it is in the Insta Alert, but there's no color showing up at that 
place, but you just pick it up here and there. You can pick up my face now. Uh, as I'm coming toward the camera, definitely there's a lot more going on uh, with the color. And this is the lowest color setting. So you up it and you get more color. Here, this is just showing around my truck. Uh, somebody's messing around in your driveway, looking through your truck. This is what you'll see. This is about uh, 20 yards out. So, uh, of course, with the bright color, it's definitely showing up well. Here's a little shooting sequence, uh, just to show you how the gun reacts. Uh, once it gets hot, then the barrel gets hot, and uh, you can see it firing. So it's pretty fascinating. It's six inches long by two inches in diameter. So it's a pretty handy, easy piece. Uh, it can be manipulated with one hand. In fact, you just start to know that the big areas here are raised to go up and down. The camera is in the middle and you can feel the pad has a depression. And then up here at the front, you have your on-off switch. Again, this is a menu switch. Now the TK Scout has a complete rubber overmold finish to it, which makes it really comfortable, but it also protects the scope and it makes it shock resistant up to about two meters. And it's rated IP67, which is dust and water ingress uh, up to about 30 minutes. So waterproof up to 30 minutes. And, you know, this is made for the outdoors, made for hunting, for security, and all the other things. So uh, just a really tough little unit. It has a 20 degree by 16 degree field of view. Uh, it is a fairly small little lens. And it runs on 9 hertz. The LCD display is 640 by 480. If you're wanting something with a higher grade, then you know FLIR definitely makes the models. In fact, this one again starts out, this is the lowest, starts out at 599. It runs up. There are even models that are similar to this with better features. Uh, so, you know, if you really want a lot of features, you can go up and get the different models. Uh, and then they do make actual weapons mounts uh, for scopes. And again, you know, with magnification and a lot of other things. Uh, you can go to FLIR and look at all the different details. Now, there are a number of adapters that will attach to your phone to make a thermal imaging camera. Uh, and it's pretty cool. They run about $299. Uh, one of the downsides to me is that it is attached to your phone. It's going to be a little less rugged. Uh, than this, especially for the outdoors and really for serious security. But the convenience of the phone is a great way to go. Uh, in fact, I think I may go ahead and add the phone device to mine just to have a little more capability. But I think for really good security, I think that the, the uh, TK Scout is the way to go. Now the TK Scout does come with a lanyard, which I definitely use. Uh, you just slip it through here and then it goes over your neck. Uh, they do have a pouch that you can order separately. And then you have a USB cable uh, to hook right here into your computer or whatever device and then you can download it. This is a little, the, the flap is really secured on here, which is good because it keeps it waterproof. Okay. All right, there we go. So here we have your port. You plug this in and then plug it into your computer and then you can download pictures and video. And this is also your charging cable and charging port. Uh, you take your USB, hook it into your computer or whatever and it will charge the battery. And it is a lithium ion battery, lasts about five hours. Uh, it has a memory card in there about 1.78 gigabytes. So um, it really, especially with the size of the video and the photo, you can get quite a bit of video and photo on this little unit. Now these are available at opticsplanet.com and they're $5.99 as I stated before, but you get a 5% discount and that really makes things even nicer. Uh, I want to thank Optics Planet for sending this for the review. I've been wanting to get a hold of some thermal imaging for a good while and uh, was really excited to get this piece. The FLIR TK Scout, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic.
whether it's survival, whether it's prepping, self-defense, uh, or you're just looking for your pet. <laughs> okay. And uh, this is the TK, even if you're at home. Now, one of the things I've found with this is I just use it all the time. I mean, I'm just, okay. 